Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install and configure the 117 HD plugin. So let's get started. Subscribe to save this data. So the plugin in question for this video is going to be the 117 HD plugin and this can transform your entire game and it can also transform your playing experience within the game. So when you first launch Runelite for the first time, this is what you will be greeted with. No, God, please, no, 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 no. So let's go ahead and configure our graphics. And to do this, we will want to go ahead and click on the configuration icon in the top right corner of your screen. And this menu here will load up all of our plugins we have currently installed. After we've loaded this list, we'll want to go ahead and click on the plugin hub. And again, it is in the top right corner of your guys' screen and it will look like a little plug icon. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. And now this will load up all of our external plugins which are not actually integrated with Runelite. And all we have to do on this menu is just type in 117 and then this will load up two plugins and the plugin we are after is 117 HD. So let's just go ahead and install that and to install it all we've got to do is click on the green install button. Now we have gone and installed that. If we go ahead and go back to our configuration menu where all of our plugins are, we now need to go ahead and find 117. For the purpose of this we will just go ahead and search it on the bar just in case your plugins look a little bit different to what mine do. And now we have found it on um, the search terms, we'll go ahead and favorite it, so then it will appear at the top of our list. And from here, we will jump straight into the plugin configuration. So now we can go ahead and configure the plugin settings. For the purpose of this video, we will be starting at general and we'll be working down the list. And I'll be setting these settings to what I personally use. So if you guys wanna use something different, you can do. So to start with, we will just go ahead and turn on the plugin and you will see that it transforms our entire game. We will just go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see, our game looks considerably different to what it did about five seconds ago. So from now on, we're just gonna go down the list and just configure this to what I'm personally going to be using. For my draw distance, I'm gonna be using a draw distance of 90. For my extended map loading, I'm gonna leave that on free. Anti-aliasing is going to be MSAA times 16. For UI scaling is going to be Catmull ROM. My anisotropic filtering is going to be on 16. My unlock FPS, I'm gonna put that on ticked. My V-Sync, I'm gonna turn that on off. My FPS target is going to be whatever my monitor FPS or my Hertz refresh rate is going to be, which for this monitor I play Runelite on is 144. Color blind assist is gonna be on zero or none. Blindness intensity is gonna be on 100%. Flashing effects, I'm gonna turn that on off. I'm not gonna use that. My saturation is going to be on 100 my contrast is going to stay on 100 my brightness i'm going to turn this down a little bit it does say on here that 20 is recommended but i'm turning this down to around about 10. so the next thing we will be going over is lighting so let's go ahead and change our lighting setting so dynamic lighting i have this on few projectile lights i have this one turned off npc lights i turn this off my atmospheric lighting is ticked my shadows is on detailed my shadow transparency is on ticked. Uh, shadow quality, we're gonna move that from 4,000 to 2,000. Shadow distance is going to be on 50. Expand shadow draw is on ticked. Hide fake shadows, we've got that on ticked. Normal mapping is also ticked. And parallax occlusion mapping is on ticked as well. I'm not really too sure what that actually does. It says this adds more depth to supported materials at a cost of performance. So fog depth is dynamic. My static fog depth is going to be changed to four. Ground fog, I'm gonna untick that. Default sky, that is just the background of the actual sky box. You can change this to whatever you wanna change it to. I originally do like it on the blue one because I'm pretty sure on the old school one it is black and it doesn't look appealing if I'm completely honest. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that on blue. Override sky color. I'm going to leave that off. Model textures are going to be unticked. Ground textures is going to be unticked as well. Because I'll just go ahead and just turn this off for you. And you will see a difference on the ground where my mouse is circling. As you can see, it doesn't look too great when it's unticked. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that back on. 
Texture resolution is 256. Ground blending is going to be ticked as well. The same with underwater. We're going to keep that ticked as well. And HD to that reskin, we're going to turn that off. First of all, model batching, we're going to keep that ticked. Then with models caching, we're not messing about with any of this. We're going to leave all this on default if I'm completely honest. Miscellaneous, fix white colour issue on max. We don't have a max, so this is going to be unticked. HD infernal cape, we don't have an infernal cape. Uh, winter theme, the floor, instead of it being a green grass, it is white snow basically. Me personally, I'm going to leave it as the grass. Legacy grey colours, personally again, I'm going to leave it unticked. Same with vanilla colour, colour banding, this is going to be unticked and low memory mode is going to be an unticked as well and experimental further unlock fps you can tick this if you want to i'm going to leave it unticked fill gaps in terrain i'm going to tick this use old model sorting we're going to leave that unticked and that is pretty much the entire plugin but like i said go ahead and configure it the way you like it yours could be and probably will be a lot different to how you guys want to play it compared to how i play it but this is basically the rundown on the 117 HD plugin. So let me know if you guys have found this somewhat helpful. I do apologize for the way of my voice in this video. I am getting a little bit ill. Uh, hopefully it is nothing major and I can bounce back from it in a couple of days. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. And if you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. It really will help the channel grow. Let me know some more rune-like plugins you'd like me to cover on the channel in the future. I have been Ben. Hope you guys have all enjoyed nevertheless. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye. If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.